Hey, Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek in Stewart, Florida, and I'm going to walk through and show you the 10 cars that I brought in for the class called Show Car Detailing. Now, at my three day class, we go over show car detailing, production car detailing, and wet sanding, cutting, and buffing, plus hot water extractors, steamers, and just about everything glass polishing, engine detailing, headlights, wheels, and tires you name it, we do it interiors, convertible tops, and vinyl tops. But for the first day, I like everybody to have a lot of fun when they get here. You know, they're, they're paying big bucks, they're traveling from all over the world and all over the country. And when they get here, I want them to have a good time. So I bring in some really cool cars so they're working on the real deal. When we talk about show car detailing, we're talking about working on real show cars. Now this first car, this is a 1939 Plymouth five window coupe with the 440 big block engine and dual quads. It's been pulled out of about 20 years of storage, so it's completely dirty, and the paint is absolutely wiped out, but we're gonna fix it. Follow me along here. This next one, this is a 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner with a 383 big block, completely swirled out with holograms. Class is gonna fix this one. Over here, we've got a 1960 Cadillac. This is a four-door sedan DeVille custom low rider with a beautiful paint job that has swirls, scratches, and contamination. Again, show car detailing. And look how big this car is. When you come to one of my classes, you're never going to be standing around with your hands in your pocket because there's plenty of hands-on work to do at a Mike Phillips competition ready detail class. This is a 1965 Cadillac, black. You know what they say about black. It's the hardest color to make look perfect. But I'll tell you, by the time this class is over, this thing's going to look mint. Here we've got a 1966 Mustang. This is a survivor car, 36,000 original miles. Now it's been repainted with the base coat, clear coat finish, and the finish is completely swirled out and highly contaminated. This is a 1988, oh excuse me, a 1959 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88. And this thing's actually in pretty good shape. You know, it's got swirl scratches, contamination, but it's just a really cool car. Plus, it's got a vinyl convertible top. So not only can I teach paint polishing with it, but the class is going to learn how to use a Dupre steam cleaner on the vinyl interior and 303 aerospace protectant on the vinyl top. This, this is a 1969 Camaro with a 396 big block and a four speed. This thing is, as far as contamination go, it is the worst of all these cars. It feels like the pavement I'm standing on or Forty Grit sandpaper. This is a 1941 GMC half-ton pickup. It's actually the long bed model, kind of rare. It's got a 283 and a turbo 350 automatic, and nothing has ever been done to the paint after it was painted, and it's dull and it's bottled. So we're gonna use a technique I teach called scuff and buff, to sand it and buff it out and try to get it to look as good as it possibly can. This is a 1930 Model A. It's got a small block Ford and a C6 automatic. And it's actually not too bad shape, but it's got the normal swirls of contamination. So class is going to get a chance to work, for some of them, probably on their first and maybe their only Ford Model A. Hot Rod. This is a really nice car. This is a magazine quality build car. This is a 1948 Buick Super Roadmaster Convertible. Now this has the canvas top, so we're going to be going over Rick Goldstein's ragtop products as far as cleaning and protecting the canvas top. The paint wall looks good. Again, completely swirled out. Class is going to learn how to fix that. This is a lot of curves, so this is a good training car. And then last but least, a shoebox Chevy. We've got a 1956 Chevy Bel Air. Belongs to a local guy. And the same thing, swirls and scratches. So as you can see, 10 cars for show car detailing here in Auto Geek in sunny Stewart, Florida. Now, all these classes sell out. I teach them the same, type of, same time of year every year. It's the last weekend of January, the first weekend of May, that's this class, it's the first weekend this weekend, and then the last weekend of September. And I keep those dates and those, those days consistent because I got people that primarily travel in from around the United States and around the country. We got at least three people here from different countries. And when you're making those kinds of plans to travel for a class like this, you need consistent dates. So for the last eight years, last weekend of January, first weekend of May, last weekend of September. So the next class coming up is September. It always sells out the fastest. So if you want to have this kind of fun, take your detailing skills to the highest level, then get a hold of Auto Geek at 1-800-869-3011 or go to autogeek.com, get some information on the class and get signed up before someone else 
beats you to it. Hope to see you at one of my future classes, because man, I always have the coolest cars. We use all the tools, all the pads, all the chemicals. These classes are a blast. We'll see you here.